Good afternoon. You're now watching the TVS New News with me, Mena Ruben, for the 11th October edition. The Sarawak government will continue to curb any form of extreme ideology that will believe to be disturbing the state's harmony. Chair Minister Datuk Patinggi Abang Zawari Tun Abang Haji Openg stressed that the harmony achieved by Sarawak today should not be challenged as the culture practiced by the Sarawakans is not as other states. He added that it was by the early existence of units for other religions, UNIFOR, devoted to safeguarding religious interests other than Islam and promising to protect the policy regardless of the cause in cure. He was speaking at the closing ceremony of the Chinese Cultural Symposium in Kuching. In a similar speech, Dato Patinggi Abang Zuhari also reiterated his stand to continue to champion the rights of Sarawak who had been eroded on the basis of what was enacted in the Malaysia Agreement 1963. Enhancement of public consultation and citizen engagement for wider outreach to stakeholders and affected parties will boost transparency, inclusiveness and trust in government rule-making processes. Deputy Prime Minister Dato Sri Dr Wan Aziza Wan Ismail said through a collaboration between the World Bank and the Malaysia Productivity Corporation MPC is in the pipeline to provide a tracking tool for better monitoring and evaluation of evidence-based and quality rule-making. She stressed that a regulatory governance system that is robust, accountable and transparent is an important building block in sustaining a dynamic and resilient economy in the face of a rapidly changing marketplace. She added that the government will continue to focus on reforming the country's economic structure to ensure policy framework through an effective regulatory governance infrastructure. She said this at the opening of the National Convention on Good Regulatory Practices, GRP 2018, in Putrajaya. Well, that's all for me. I'm Menor Ruben. Thank you for watching. TVSarawak.com. Anytime, anywhere.